What's up guys, Wannabe Racer here. Today we're going to talk about the Cyclops Magnus, the latest wheel-on interactive smart trainer from Cyclops, which is right below the hammer in Cyclops lineup. started with some of the stats about the Magnus. First, this unit retails for $600 US on Cyclops website or about $850 Canadian. Second, uh, the Magnus broadcasts on both Bluetooth and AMP Plus, meaning it is compatible with all your favorite devices and apps, including Zwift, Trainer Road, and Cyclops' own Ruby app. Third, the maximum resistance on the magnets is 1500 watts, which is more than enough for the majority of indoor riders. And Cyclops rates the power accuracy on the magnets at plus or minus 5%. Fourth, the magnets uses the same lightweight made in America steel frame that Cyclops has used on many other, other wheel on trainers for a number of years, uh, meaning it has been proven as stable and durable. Pressure against the rear wheel is kept consistent thanks to a clutch knob that acts similar to the gas cap on your car, which pops when it hits the ideal tension. Dun, dun, dun. Cyclops has a number of through axle adapter kits available for the Magnus, which means the Magnus is compatible with uh, boost mountain bikes, standard spacing mountain bikes, as well as road disc with a 12mm through axle or QR. And finally, the Magnus has a lightweight 2.6 pound or 1.2 kilo flywheel which keeps it lightweight and portable. But that lightweight flywheel is the biggest shortcoming of the magnets. So the free wheel does not provide enough inertia to keep the rear wheel turning over. As a result, it requires a pretty substantial kick over the top of the pedal stroke to keep things moving along. The lightweight free wheel becomes more noticeable at low speeds. If you can keep it in a big gear and the rear wheel turning fast, you can kind of overcome the lack of inertia. Um, but once you get into the small gear, low speed situations, like a simulated climb on Swift, you really notice that lack of inertia from the free wheel and things start to feel choppy. Uh, for this reason, the Magnus really isn't a good indoor simulator uh, with apps like Zwift. At the same price, the Wahoo Kicker Snap comes with a much bigger free wheel as well as better power accuracy at plus or minus 3%. So if you really are looking uh, for the best indoor ride simulator um, at this price point, I'll probably direct you towards the Kicker Snap rather than the Magnus. It's not all doom and gloom when it comes to the Magnus. Uh, if you're looking for a smart resistance unit to use for structured workouts like on train or road or the Sufferfest, the Magnus is still a good option. It held target power well as well as ramped up to the target power relatively fast. Noise levels are good on the Magnus, I have no complaints there. While it's not the quietest unit in the world, it is also not the noisiest. It's easy to store thanks to its foldable frame, so if you're limited on space, it's easy to put away when you're done and take pack out when you're ready to ride again. As well, uh, thanks to the through axle adapters, the Magnus is uh, compatible with most bikes and future proof for you if you ever plan on making upgrades in the future. So in conclusion, if you're looking for the most realistic indoor riding simulator, Magnus is probably not the trainer for you. Uh, i reiterate that light flywheel really lets it down, um, especially in low speed situations like a simulated climb. 
but if you are just looking for a uh, smart resistance unit to work with structured intervals, then the Magnus is still a solid option, especially if you can find it at a good price compared to the Wahoo Kick or Snap. If you'd like to see a little more on the Cyclops Magnus, including more pictures and a full written review, head on over to the Wannabe Racer website. I'll put a link down in the description for you to follow. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, be kind and give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos from the Wannabe Racer. Good enough for me.